What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and as you can see I'm not in Florida. Check out my jacket. It is about 45 degrees outside and I'm in Oregon on the completely other side of the United States from where I'm used to. We just pulled up to Barnacle Bill's Seafood Market where I hope to buy some live Dungeness crab and then we're gonna go find somewhere and cook this crab. And I'm so excited because there's nothing better than fresh crab. Fresh seafood, really. I'm a seafood guru. So we're gonna walk into Barnacle Bills and check it out and see what they have. Their sign, their grand entrance to Barnacle Bills here fresh in crab. Lincoln City. We got fresh crab, salmon jerky, and oysters. I'll probably pass on the oysters though. But like I said, we're in Lincoln City. So we we're staying in Salem, which is an hour east of Lincoln City. So we drove an hour west to get to Lincoln City here on the west coast of the United States. Check out the seafood market right now. It's cold out here. There's our Dungeness crab. You held it. Yeah, I definitely want to get a piece of halibut. We have some salmon. Sturgeon. Oh, that's interesting. Look at all this good stuff. Shrimp. Oh, prawns. Ooh. You guys, I am in seafood heaven right now. They said they have it. Live crab? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. All right, so I went ahead and just purchased three live Dungeness crabs. Chelsea's not a big crab eater, but I am. Um, now the trick is, is I have to find an appropriate place to cook this crab because my plans before, I don't think they're going to allow any type of fire in the woods where we wanted to go. So now we got to figure out where we're going to cook these, um, which is I'm going to do that right now. She's in the back preparing the live crab for us. So y'all, you guys are just along for the ride right now because our plans just got switched up. buckled them in <laughs> so we just found the perfect spot I mean beautiful mountains in the background it's the Sun is shining it's a little overcast so it's kind of going in and out of the sunlight but you could not ask for more perfect weather basically it's not blowing for once in one of my videos it's not blowing 30 it's not raining it's perfect out it could be a little warmer not not gonna lie but if it was warm, it wouldn't be Oregon, right? We got our crabs. All we gotta do is set up camp right now. We got a little grill, we got some pots. I got a couple gallons of water. And we're gonna go ahead and boil these crabs. This is a, it's called, I think you're at a 
Regatta, Regatta Park. Um, I just found it on the on the iPhone maps. The water was there. There was a dock that I went out on and took a picture with the crabs. There's a huge like wooden playground here, and we found a cute little pavilion with a couple picnic bench tables where we're gonna set up camp. All right, let's get to setting up. I've never used one of these little grills before. It was like 25 bucks at Walmart, but that water is already getting hot. And I went ahead and bought some spring water to boil the crabs in. I already put a gallon in there. Hopefully this grill can handle two gallons of water on it. We're about to find out. That should be good. Put that lid on there so it boils faster. First thing you're gonna do with your crabs is you always wanna give them a really good rinse. Now, I kinda have to make do with what I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the crabs out on this pavement right here and let the water go into the grass and just give them a good scrub with my hands. Check these out. This is one thing we do not have in Florida, are these Dungeness crabs. I don't really know too much about them other than that they're really good to eat. They do sell them at Publix where we live though. Of course, already cooked in just the legs. So I'm just gonna flip them over and just rinse them with a little bit of fresh water. It's crazy how they have this like purple color on top of them. Check that out. And their claws aren't really too big either. They're really fuzzy right here. This one, let's see if I can tell female or males out of these crabs. They all look like males to me. I believe if they were females, this little latch right here would be a lot bigger. Kind of like a blue crab and a stone crab. So I believe these are all males. Now, if I'm wrong in the comments below, let me know. Like I said, I don't know much about them, except they're really good to eat. I don't know if the males have like a bigger claw or anything. Ooh, he's trying to pinch me. Sorry, little guy, but you're too good. You're too good. One of the things, if you guys come to Oregon, you have to get fresh Dungeness crab. There's literally probably no other place on earth where you can get fresh crab. There we go. All right. Y'all are all scrubbed up and ready to put in the pot. Our water is getting super hot right now. We got the good old Old Bay seasonings. If you guys have any seasonings other than Old Bay that you recommend on boiling crab or steam crab, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and season the water. About that much. Now we are getting ready to put our Dungeness crab into the pot. Bye. You know, I hope I got a big enough pot. This is gonna be a very close, you know, I don't know. They're gonna have to squeeze in there. I think we can do it though. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Perfect size. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let that boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. I think these are a little bit on the bigger side, so I might give it 15 minutes just to be sure. We're going to put on some zucchini, a little olive oil, keep it nice and healthy other than the butter but hey you know what sometimes you just gotta live a little so after these are done cooking we're gonna go walk down to the water and i'm gonna show you guys how to clean the crab after you're done cooking the crab so while that crab is boiling i'm gonna walk down here and show you guys it looks like a little boat ramp there's a dock a docking dock to dock your boats and it's absolutely incredible now on the way here we had about an hour drive to come to lincoln city and I had to pull over and take a video of all these geese. I'm not sure what type of geese they are. They're geese in Oregon, so if you know what type of geese they are, just in the comments below, let me know. But there were so many of them on the side of the road, and I don't see those type of geese in Florida, so I was like, oh, I have to get a video of it. There's also a bunch of ducks here too, but this is just incredible scenery. I'm gonna try to put the drone up in the air. I don't know if it'll let me. I don't know if there's any like towers or airports or anything nearby, so. To check it out the sun is behind me so 
might be a little hard to see, but it's beautiful. And apparently in Oregon, the sun isn't out all the time, but we are on the coast too. Like where Chelsea's staying, she is in Salem, so it's an hour east of the coast. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just here for the first time and it's flipping beautiful. Oh my gosh, I am so in love. This is the first day here, so to knock it out of the park with a nice Dungeness crab video is just making my heart so happy. I know Blue Gabe and his parents wish they were here. His dad, Walt, especially. Shout out to Walt. He loves Dungeness crab. We're actually going to check into an Airbnb later today. We're going to stay in, oh, what's it called? Deope? Dope? It starts with a D. It's about 20 minutes south of Lincoln City. Um, it's like the smallest inlet apparently. Um, we're gonna go check that out too. So I'm super excited to see that. I'm just so happy to be on the coast. I mean, if I'm on the coast anywhere in the world, Mexico, Florida, West Coast, East Coast, like I'm just super happy, <laughs> obviously because of the water. So we're gonna go check out there. We're actually gonna stay in Airbnb down there. I'm walking up a hill right now. I'm not used to hills, I'm a Florida girl. And um, camp out there for the night. So you guys will see everything on this trip to Oregon. I'm gonna go check on the crabs. All right, let's not blow the place up. <laughs> Should I go for it? Let me see. Watch out, because there's a bunch. It's on, so be careful. Oh, Jesus, this is scary. It's on. <laughs> I think you're actually supposed to use a match with these things, but all we have is a lighter and protein. Propane kind of scares me sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, we made it work. It's cooking. Place isn't on fire yet, so we're good. There's actually a charcoal grill right there, but <laughs> hey, at least we know we can grill here, right? Oh man. I know, right? I'm like, I hope we can grill here. And these are like the perfect picnic tables to do this on because they're like stone. Hello, crabs. What's she doing? Ooh, it smells good. Oh. That old bay. Gabe, I wish you were here right now. This would probably be one of your top five favorite things to do. Myself and my boyfriend, Gabriel, AKA Blue Gabe on YouTube. He's a YouTuber as well. For those of you that are just tuning in, he loves crab. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. This is amazing out here. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you something about the trees in Oregon though. They're pretty big. Look how big that thing is. The very first thing that came to my brain when I landed in Oregon, I looked out the window, looked out the window of the airport, and all I saw was massive Christmas trees. <laughs> so crazy, just like, just the, the vibe, the culture, everything is just so different. Look, there's a little nature trail over here. We're gonna have to take this after we eat the crabs. It's so pretty. Oh my. Right? Oh, look at this tree. Oh, look at this tree. Oh, look at that tree. <laughs> oh, look at that one. It's so funny. Chelsea and I were talking about. What's that? There's a little stream. A little stream. Chelsea and I were talking about um, on the way over here how we're from Florida, so like anything that's not in Florida excites us. And we're like, oh, look at that tree. Look at that creek. Look at that fresh water. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> it's like a dog when it goes to a park and it's like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, you better, ooh, <laughs> attend. That thing is, oh yeah, it's because it's on high. Zero to 100. Yeah. Chelsea's gonna burn the zucchini. You're on zucchini duty, I'm on crab duty. <laughs> All right, our 15 minutes is up. Nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that propane off. How do I turn it off? Which way? <laughs> there we go, it's off. <laughs> All right, same it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. All right, gotta get a good grip, good grip. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. That thing is looking delicious. So check that out. Our zucchini is done. I have some butter melting in a pan right there. I really want to use my other hand to get the crab out. <laughs> All right, I got it, I got it. Oh, it's because I got both of them. Get off each other. Two for one. There we go. Check that out. The, the crabs will turn 
a nice orangey oh, so perfect. red color when they're cooked. Bad boy out. Three crab is like perfect for us. Now Chelsea's actually, have you ever eaten crab? This will be my first. <gasps> I'll tell you what, this is an HE double hockey stick of a first time to eat crab. It's Dungeness, <laughs> fresh Dungeness in Oregon. So we're gonna go down to the water, let these cool down a little bit, and I'll show you guys how to properly clean these crabs. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right, gotta put the hair up because this can get a little messy and I don't want my hair in it. Dude, these seagulls here are huge. Look at the one right behind you, look at it. Oh my God, he's so close. He's so big. They're not playing around either. They're gonna snatch us up. <laughs> For real. All right, so I think this is cooled down enough in order to do it. So the top of the shell, I believe, is called the carpus, and you're just gonna pop it off. You wanna do it over a big bowl if you're in a kitchen, or in our case, we're in the outdoors, so we can do it over the water. You're gonna stick your fingers right in between, and it should pop right off. Oh, wow. It's hot. See all that juice in there? We're gonna get rid of that. So this one, it looks like it was about to molt. I've never seen that before on a crab. So you're gonna get rid of all of this. So right here, that's its gills. These little feathery things. Sorry, it's actually still hot. It's actually still really hot. Are you hot. burning your fingers? I am burning my fingers. <laughs> but I wanna eat it hot too. So you're just gonna grab all those gills, get rid of that, put it in the water. <whistles> Look at all these ducks, so pretty. The brown ducks. I forget the ones with the green heads, what they're called. Get rid of all that. You're gonna take like his little mouth here and just crack that off and get rid of that. I think a lot of people do too, is like that juice that was in the head that you watched me get rid of. They'll use it as like a broth. So I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I'm not gonna eat it just cause it's not really what I want right now. I want that crab meat. And all the guts inside the body. If you have a like a faucet on a sink, you can really get in there and do it. However, we don't have that, so we're working with what we got. I have a little bit of fresh water up there. I'm just gonna give them a little rinse when we get back up there. Now this part is called the apron, and these are all male crabs. I'm just gonna take a little knife and just pop something right under that apron. It should come right up like that. You're gonna get under there and you're just gonna get rid of that and just pop that right off. Clean it up a little more and that's pretty much it. It's really easy to clean crabs, honestly. It's easier than filleting a fish, let me tell you. Especially if you're just starting out to fillet fish. But just like that, that is your cleaned crab. We're gonna go ahead and do these and we'll see you all back up at the pavilion where we're gonna grub down and eat these bad boys. Brace yourself. I don't even know where to start. We're gonna start with a big old leg here. Pop that leg right off. What I normally do is I pop it at the joint, pull out that tendon. Dungeness crabs are a little bit harder than snow crab, what I'm used to back in Florida. So sometimes you just gotta like use your fist and bust that bad boy open. Look at that. Oh my goodness, get a close look at this. Now you see that little white stuff right there? That's pretty much just collagen. It's just crab fat. We're gonna dip that in our butter here, which I did put some Old Bay seasoning in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Worth it? So worth it. I mean, 110%. Oh my goodness. All right, Chelsea. I'm gonna do your first leg for you. You might have a little trouble busting it open your first time. Ow, that hurt, but we got it. All right, let me get you a good piece. It's always nice when the crabs come out a nice lunk. Lump sum. There we go. All right, give me the camera. Switch that over, dip that in that butter. It doesn't smell that like salty. No, it's not salty at all. She's not, she doesn't eat seafood, people. I'm just letting you know, she's like never. I kind of got her to eat fish now. That's not bad. It's 
good. I can get used to it. You can get used to it. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? I like the Old Bay a lot. Oh yeah, the Old Bay. Like you cannot go wrong with some good old Old Bay with the crab legs. Let's get us some plates and dig in here. A plate? Man, I'm just digging in you right there. You can go straight for it? What you talking about a plate? Listen, we're gonna sit here. I'm gonna devour these crab legs. I'll send you guys a picture of, send you guys. <laughs> I'll show you guys a picture of these crab legs when I'm done eating them. We'll see how many Chelsea eats and we're wrapping up this video. I think this was a pretty successful video for my first one in Oregon. Um, we're here on Devil's Lake and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day with my best friend, Chelsea. So, all right, you guys, this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a covet, covetive, and leave a positive comment below. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.